Hi again, Dave Walker, your Connect Guru, with more on Connect. Now, I like sharing as much as the next guy, but uh, my brother-in-law and his family are visiting this week, and at my wife's insistence, I've given up my bed, and I've been sleeping on the floor. Well, to be honest, it's been more like tossing and turning than sleeping. I like my brother-in-law, but I'll be glad when I get my bed back. In this session, I thought we would share, pun intended, a little more on how we share content in a Connect meeting room. In a Connect meeting room, anytime we want to show something to our participants, we use the SharePod. Now you can tell just by the buttons we see here in the SharePod itself that there's more than one way to use the SharePod. First, we can use the SharePod to share our computer screen. Here we have a few options. We can share our entire desktop, which means everything on our monitor. Or if you have two monitors, Connect lets you select which one you want to share. Second and third, you can choose to share applications or windows. You can share multiple applications and multiple windows if you like. And when you select specific windows or applications to share, nothing else on your screen will be seen by the participants. One of the things I really like about Connect is that it allows you to have more than one instance of the meeting open at the same time. This lets me have an instance of the meeting room open on my second monitor where I can be logged in as a participant that constantly shows me how the attendees are seeing the meeting room. And there's an even cooler option available when you're using a system with two monitors. You can share one monitor and leave your meeting room open on the other monitor. And if you turn on the preview mode, you can see what's being shared in the SharePod in the meeting room. I was using some other virtual meeting solutions recently, and the fact that I couldn't open a second instance of the meeting nor see what was being shared was kind of inconvenient. It's really reassuring to be able to see what your audience is seeing. Now, another thing you can do with a SharePod is to share documents. You might wonder why document sharing is such a big deal. After all, you can already share your screen, so why not just open the document on your computer and share the screen? Well, screen sharing works great, but it's by far the most bandwidth intensive process you can do. Sharing a document, on the other hand, uses only a small fraction of the bandwidth of screen sharing. So when you think about people attending your meeting from all over the world, from wireless connections in hotel rooms and rural areas where fast internet connections are rare, there's a definite advantage in sharing a document rather than your computer screen. Connect allows you to share six kinds of documents. PowerPoint presentations, JPEG images, flash movies, flash video, MP3 files, and PDF documents. And of course, you can use a whiteboard overlay on any kind of document. Just turn on the whiteboard tools and you can draw lines, highlights, shapes, and even text. And of course, you can also do whiteboarding on a plain white background. Now, sometimes you'll be more interested in getting the documents into the hands of your participants rather than showing the document in the meeting room. For example, you might not want to review an entire quarterly report during your meeting, but you might want to make it available for download so your participants can review it later. For this, you can use the file share pod. The file share pod allows you to upload any kind of document, which your participants can then download to their computer. Okay. I'm going off to a nice quiet corner for a nap now. When I wake up, I think I'll do another one of these episodes about managing attendees. So don't wander off. And remember, why go to meeting when you can go to a Connect Pro meeting?